Hi guys, welcome to another block spotlight and today we're going to be taking a, yeah, another thermal expansion block this time it's this guy here and as you can see two inputs, three inputs it's the magma crucible now this is going to basically allow us to turn things like stone, cobble, obsidian and netherrack into lava um, it has the energy storage indicator on the left hand side that is your input block and then it has a tank here which will fill up with lava on the right hand side now you can pump that lava out or apparently you can use a bucket to take it out there and we will uh, test that in a minute uh, it's going to use 40 minecraft joules a tick which is an awful lot of power so for every operation it's going to be quite a lot of buildcraft power to do it and depending on which materials you use will depend on how much uh, power you're going to need per operation next tab we have our redstone control which again uh, extremely useful little gizmo here will allow us to choose exactly how this machine is going to operate when it receives a redstone signal and then the outputs and the inputs here which we can configure we've only got inputs so you could just as well set everything to inputs and that will be fine you can still pump the lava out wherever you like so it's all good now the recipe for this guy redstone power coil on the bottom uh, as with it appears most of the, the machines that need buildcraft power seem to be using this power coil on the bottom uh, machine chassis above that which again all of these thermal expansion machines seem to use a machine chassis then we've got a bucket on the top and then a nether brick on either side which gives us our magma crucible now over here I've been pumping this in some power I've got two uh, biogas engines on there so it should be quite full and we can drop some nether rack in there and as you can see it's going to gradually process through that and give us a bucket of lava out of each nether rack that we put in now let's see if we can yep we can take a lava bucket out of that slot very very nice um, I'm interested to see actually whether we can use cans let me get some cans and cells empty cells is something else that can hold lava in it and capsules uh, oil capsule, no I want a magical capsule and a refractory capsule, they should both hold lava we'll see how many of these work shall we so cans won't go in there empty cells won't go in there uh, capsules won't go in there so the only way you can uh, can get this out is with the bucket so let's grab an empty bucket show you guys that again a couple just so you can see we take out a whole bucket of lava each time uh, as I said before though you can pump it out as well using uh, waterproof pipes etc now if we show you how much power is required for each one of these as you can see the stone is using a hell of a lot of power um, it's pretty much going to drain half of this bar just to produce or it's even going to drain the whole bar to produce one block of lava it's effectively I think they've balanced it so that uh, for every stone that you convert to lava it's going to cost the same as a bucket of lava in power so if you were to run a steam engine it would produce the power to produce the lava that is being used so not a lot of point for stone and cobble unless you have really got no other option uh, the obsidian is the same these all use the same amount of power to produce the lava so fairly uh, ineffective ways of getting lava out of this machine 
the best way is the nether rack and instead of using 20,000 minecraft jewels to turn a block into lava this is actually going to use 4,000 to create a lava block out of a nether rack so it's uh, it's much much better and if you were to drop one of these in the nether for instance you could generate an awful lot of lava without creating those annoying flowing bot blocks that uh, server admins love to hate and it should basically help combat server lag and keep things a, a lot tidier although I guess it will mean you're mining out the nether instead of just dropping a pump over a lava lake so yeah, if we see there we drop a the nether rack in and this will move a lot quicker because it's using a lot less energy to produce a lava than with a stone cobble or obsidian so there we go that's the magma crucible uh, yet another useful block out of the thermal expansion mod really liking the look of some of these um, let me know in the comments if I've uh, missed anything out or got something completely wrong and also follow me on Twitch and Twitter uh, keep up with when I'm going live and I will see you next time thanks for watching